This is an arpeggio exercise I've learned from master jazz mandolin player, Mr. Kenneth Yetro Burns. It's a great way to make you familiar to the mandolin fretboard, to synchronize the right and left hand, and there is many benefits of this exercise. It sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. Yeah, let me break it down for you. Mandolinstudies.com My name is Magnus and I hope my videos can make you a better and more inspired mandolin player. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe to the channel. I have new videos like this coming out every week. There's a very nice selection of lessons with Jethro Burns that you can check out. It's all free and it's on a website i put a link in the description and i found this exercise on one of these cds that's in there so let's have a listen to yether when he's playing this okay it's in g This recording is from Jim Nicora's lessons, and there it's track number five. It's called the warm up thing. And uh, as I said, it's a great exercise for synchronizing the hands, playing in position playing, and also some position shifting, doing some fluid arpeggios through the whole fretboard. So it's a, I can really see why Yetru used this as a warm up exercise. It basically consists of a couple of different arpeggios. So I break it down into four parts, starting off with G major. There is so much information here when it comes to fingerings and uh, chord notes and all that. So I try not to describe it in words, but please listen to what I'm doing and just look at it and please and follow me. I also written down this uh, whole exercise. It's in my ebook, 10 Jazz Mandolin Licks and Techniques. So if you want uh, notation with fingerings and all that, mandolin tabs, please check that out. It's on my website, mandolinstudies.com. I do it once more, the G major arpeggio. And um, I, I'm using the alternate picking here, which means like down, up, down, up all the time. Have a look, pay attention to my right hand. One, two, three, four. Then going into the A minor chord. Once more. Then we're doing a D chord. Once more. So I'm doing a, a couple of position shifting here. The first one is doing like this. D, F sharp, A, and then they're repeating the same notes from this D. Then we're going into the fourth part. It ends like this. Track 
Try doing it like I did, that you divide it into four pieces. First learning G major, then A minor, and the D chord, and then this ending thing. And when we connect them together, it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. I think you want to try to play it both with a very straight 8 note feel and also with this swing feel. We play it very straight with the metronome ones. I put the metronome into 95 beats per minute. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, try to spend some time with this exercise and I'm quite sure you will find improvements in your playing. And I think you're going to be helped by this notation and the mandolin tabs with the fingerings and all that. So check that out at my website mandolinstudies.com And as always, if you like the lesson, please hit the like button and I would be very happy if you leave a comment also. I have a question for you, is, is there any particular technique, tune or lick or anything that you've been coping from Mr. Jethro Burns? I would be very happy if you sh share your story here. So have a good time, happy picking and see you soon. Bye.